everyone today i would like to share with you montessori inspired music and movement activities for 0 to 3 years old children i have been specially asked by my online mother and baby groups to share music and movement activities for 0 to 1 year old babies i've split the activities in three parts so in this part one i'm sharing music and movement activities for 0 to 1 year old babies with my blog where you'll find more activities you will find the link here and in the description box below. I'm demonstrating all these activities by using a doll. Now you have your newborn baby at home. You are trying to get into a daily routine. In this daily routine, incorporate singing, music and movement activities. For example, singing during transition time such as a song for sleeping, waking up, nappy changing and other daily routine activities and transitions. This helps babies to know what is coming next. This voice is the most important to the baby. So sing to your baby. Listening to their mother's voice calms and soothes the baby. This activity stimulates baby's sensorial and strengthens baby's muscle development. By singing and talking, you are introducing new language, words and communication skills. Here are some very simple tips that makes this singing and learning time more enjoyable for the baby and the mother. Always make sure that the baby is facing you so that the baby can make contact with you. Babies learn by watching our special expressions, lip reading and actions. Sing slowly and clearly so that the baby can hear the words and see your expressions and actions. For example, here I have a song where I'm introducing baby's okay. name. I've the named the doll name. so Dolly. I'm going to add Dolly's name. So, where is Dolly? Where is Dolly? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, Dolly? How are you today, Dolly? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. Noticed I was gently tapping the doll's tummy and rubbing the doll's fingers. This is important for the baby and the carer as it builds a close relationship and trust. Babies love listening to humming tunes. It calms them down and settles them. Listening to classical music and some calming music. Have all these activities as part of your daily routine and repeat them. For example, when you're doing baby massage, massaging their fingers and toes, you can do wiggle songs such as this little piggy went to the market. This classic song is much more than a song. When you are singing this song to your baby, it helps build brain connection. So when you are singing to your baby, the baby hears the words. He or she feels the touch of your hands. The child's brain makes connections between the actions and the words. And when you stop singing, the baby responds back with some sounds and giggles. Respond back as the child is responding to the song. In return, it helps towards future development of speaking, reading and communication skills. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed at home. I'm vegetarian, so I'm adding. This little piggy had some apples. And this little piggy had none. This little piggy had none and this little piggy decided to get all his brothers and sisters and went wee. Babies love being tickled so you can do tickle songs such as round and round the garden like a teddy bear. Using your index finger trace inside of the child's palm going round and round Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, 
two steps. Tickly and there. Repeat the songs and communicate with your baby. You will notice that when you have stopped singing, your baby will make a sound that shows that your baby is communicating with you. Taking turns with your baby. Sometimes you will notice that your baby sticks his or hers tongue out and you can also stick your tongue out at the baby. When you stop, the baby will repeat the action. Here you are teaching your baby how to take turns. Sing songs with high and low pitch sounds such as Old MacDonald had a farm. Babies love listening to animal sounds such as moo, quack quack etc. For singing, just have few farm animals ready in a basket. I'm using soft toys. So when you are singing the song to your child, for example, I'm using a duck, have the animal in front of you and the baby. So the baby is able to connect with the words and the animal that you are holding in your hand. This way you are introducing new words, sounds and vocabulary. Music and movement comes in various forms such as going for a walk with your baby in a pram. This is another way to introduce natural sounds from the surrounding. Moving on to movement activities for 0 to 1 year old. Re resources for infant educators based on the approach by Magda Graeber. To find out more about this approach, visit my blog. You'll find the link in the description box below. Based on Montessori and Magda Graeber's approach, I strongly believe that even a very young infant should have freedom to grow and develop independently. As caregivers, we should provide opportunities through prepared environment. This is what I would like to share with you all. Safe homemade materials that I have used in earlier settings. Very easy to put together to support strengthening of muscles and encouraging movement for young infants. Very important, remember once the child has finished playing with this activity, put it away back on the shelf. This activity is for a child under 6 months. This activity supports focus on objects, sharpening sense of sight as well as prompts movement and strengthening of muscles for kicking and reaching out for example toys. Remember this activity must be done under adult supervision. Cut some handkerchief sized materials of bright shiny colors and take some thin rope. You can even use a thick string long enough to tie to the both sides of the baby cot. You then tie each piece of material to the rope like in the video. You can rotate the materials by using such as rattles or anything shiny but safe for the baby. I'm using homemade rattles made out of orange peel, rattle out of curtain ring. I just tied some shiny colored ribbons to it. You can even place a soft bowl with a jingle bell inside. The baby can hear and feel the bowl by the feet. This spurs the baby to kick the bowl. So that encourages movement. Next, you can see I have placed the bowl next to baby's arms. Again, this supports the movement of the opposite arm, which makes the baby turn to the side. Simple activities makes babies unconsciously and independently strengthen their muscles for movement. Place rattles and other interactive toys by the side of the baby cot, as this allows babies to reach and touch the toys. Babies love bright colors, so introduce primary colors at this age. Do all these activities on the floor because it gives baby freedom to move around. So during tummy times, you can do all these activities. For tummy time, have all these activities ready. I prefer to do all these activities on the floor rather than in the baby cot. In the baby cot, it restricts the baby to move around due to less space which takes away their independence. Moving on to treasure baskets. I am a great fan of treasure baskets. This activity must be done under adult supervision. 
I am showing you different examples of treasure basket. Number one, using natural materials from the kitchen. Number two, reflective objects, light and heavy. Treasure baskets are typically introduced when a baby can sit independently. Benefits of using treasure baskets with babies are that it allows babies to explore world around them. Treasure basket promotes curiosity, provides opportunities for decision making and develops concentration and lays foundation for independent play. I'm sharing with you a simple example. So collect some simple objects from the kitchen. For example, I have a metal bowl, a spurtle, and then dancing ribbons. Couple of rocks. A rotten bowl. A wooden spoon. And some fur cones. You are thinking of putting together a treasure basket for your baby. First, think of the topic, objects and material that are safe and practical for the child. Never leave the baby alone to play. Always watch the child. First, let the child take the lead. After a while, you can join in and introduce vocabulary by pointing to the objects. Using common sense is very important here. So, there should be nothing toxic, dangerous, something sharp, choking hazard or something with batteries inside. Never leave your baby unattended with treasure basket as the things in the box are real and not baby toys. Babies learn best by sharing their experience with you. This activity with rocks. Once your baby is sitting independently, you can introduce this wonderful sensory activity. But this activity must be done under adult supervision. All you do is collect some rocks that are large enough for the child to handle. Wash and clean them ready for the child to explore. Next, introduce different colors, textures to the child. Let the child touch and feel by exploring the rocks. The aim is to improve grip strength in infants. Let the child play and explore the rocks. As the child gets confident in lifting the rocks, you can add water to the play. From my experience in earlier settings, I have seen children spending around half an hour with this activity, concentrated and having fun. This activity is very relaxing and the child uses all his senses to explore the rocks. There's a quick preview into part 2 of music and movement activities for 1 to 2 years old. If you've liked this video then press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, be safe.